Okay, good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me. Uh, my deepest gratitude goes to Chairman John Rogers, President Frederick Kemp, the entire Atlantic Council for this distinguished recognition I am very proud of. And I think Elon for the beautiful words that he had for me and for his precious genius for the era in which we live. Um, I have put a lot of thought into how to present tonight's speech. I, uh, initially I thought of emphasizing the pride I still feel as the first woman to serve as prime minister in a nation as extraordinary as Italy. Or about the effort the Italian government is doing to reform its country, to make it once again a protagonist of the geopolitical chessboard. I could have talked about the inseparable bond that unites Italy and the United States, regardless of the political beliefs of the respective governments, a bond witnessed here by the many friends of Italian origin, representatives of a community that for generations has contributed to making America stronger. Or I could have talked about foreign policy in a time dominated by chaos in which Italy stands firmly alongside those who defend their freedom and sovereignty. Not only, not only for it is right to do so, 